how do complex systems fail? It's really interesting. When we talk about complex systems, we know when failures happen that there can be a big disconnect between cause and effect. In complex systems, a really simple cause can have a very big effect. How do we even begin to think about failure in a system like this? Well, one of the really useful models of thinking about failure in these sorts of systems is called the sand pile model. Now, the sand pile model, this, this concept was invented by a group of physicists led by Pear Back. Now, what Pear Back and the physicists ask us to do is the following. Imagine this. We have a table and we're dropping grains of sand on the table. Now, every grain of sand is identical and we're dropping them at regular intervals but we're dropping them at random positions on the table. Now, as time goes by and we slowly start to layer up sand on the table, we'll start to build little hills. And everything will be pretty boring for a while until suddenly a piece of sand will hit a steep enough hill and we'll get an avalanche. That avalanche could be a big avalanche, it could be a small avalanche. Now, what causes the avalanche? Well, I think traditionally, most of us would go and we'd blame the grain of sand. If the grain of sand hadn't fallen and hit the hill, we wouldn't have had an avalanche. But there's a problem with this view. The first problem is, we've been dropping grains of sand for quite a while on this table. What's different about this one? And the answer is nothing. The second thing is, we see this disconnect between cause and effect. Because when we drop that grain of sand and it hits the hill and causes the avalanche, at that point, we don't know whether that's going to be a big avalanche or a small avalanche. In other words, the grain of sand doesn't dictate the size of the avalanche. So thinking about the grain of sand as the cause of this incident is not correct. And of course, what Pear Back wants us to do is he wants us to focus on the shape of the hill. This is what's important. And the way to think about it is this, that it's not the grain of sand that's important. What's important is that the hill had worked its way up into a steep enough hill that all it took was a single grain of sand to cause the avalanche. And of course, it's also the shape of the hill that dictates how big or how small that avalanche will actually be. And this is how we should think about failure in complex systems. We all know interactions are terribly important in complex systems, and that's exactly what we have going on here. Complex systems fail because we set in motion a range of interactions. And of course, what's important is not necessarily the initiating event, the grain of sand, but it's how all those interactions take place. So if you really want to know where risk is inside a complex system like your organization, what you have to do is forget about grains of sand and focus on where you're building hills inside your organization. Where you're building hills is where nothing's gone wrong yet, but the hills are being built in such a way that eventually all it will take is a single grain of sand to land on it and cause an avalanche. Preventing failures in complex systems is all about identifying and dealing with those hills before the grain of sand arrives. Mm -hmm.